Hi guys. Okay, just getting ready. Close all the doors. How do you want to come in? I'll start. Hi guys. So I don't uh, have a way to see what you are writing in the chat. Just so you know, if you have any questions, um, put it in the comments and I'll get to that. Um, I've been so busy getting those spinners ready. And um, this is it, basically. Just a little different because I want to try something out. So this is the bottom part and usually there's a foot underneath this so it's more stable. But I want to see what happens if this is small and I can tilt it better. So to make it more a hand tool, just an idea. Um, this is um, completely new, so it's super slippery. If you guys are getting one, be careful at first, it will slide. Um, where's my canvas? <laughs> okay, so I've done smaller ones before and I want to do a big one. This is 20 by... 16. So you see that fits just just on it. All four arms are connected to the canvas. And you can see it wobbles a little bit and that is because the bearing I have in here has a little play. So that's normal. And then also the small base. Okay, so See how it, <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'll start just putting some paint on there. I know it's too much. Okay, and hopefully, once I'm done painting, this will stick enough to hold my canvas on the spinner. <laughs> no guarantee. What you also could do is just like flip it around and blue tape the arms onto the canvas to really secure it. Okay, just a little bit. All right, can I zoom you out? zoom you in. Let's see. There. Okay. Let's put some paint down. My paint is too thin. It's been some humid days here. Oh, well. Let's 
So I want to play with just black. I feel like I had too much color <laughs> in the last days. That is a white cell activator. This is a blue cell. Um, no. Gold is the word. Cell activator. And this is, I'm trying this out. It's the Vivid Intense from, uh, got these from Leslie from Color Art. So it's a Color Art product. And it's a uh, um, fluid acrylic. This is carbon black and hmm. so this is an ounce and it's probably six drops of it in my pouring medium. And to see if it can hold up against this guy, it's black boom gel. And I think that'll do it for today. Uh -huh. I'd like to be some A little bit minimal and quick. That was white. Of course, I'm not prepared, and everything is a mess all around me. Even that is thin. Okay, and a lot. Oops, sorry. And then. Okay, that's a lot. What are we gonna do? I have no idea. Let's paint something. How's that for starters? like a skull. Well, it's Halloween. That was a good one. So you can see the different here pretty good. I don't know, can you? <laughs> Maybe. Um, there's a dark line, outline of the cell and that's the boom gel. And the gray shades, that must be the fluid acrylics. Very nice blending so far. Now let's load it up again.
same thing, just a little less of the white. Got rid of some. Don't know if you saw that. Okay, same thing. Boom gel. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I keep hitting the tripod. Okay. Those were the fluid acrylics. I didn't test if it, <laughs> it was just a reflex. I wanted to test if it's dark enough. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that'll do it, guys. Before you paint, put some of your wall paint down or whatever you could use pouring medium to. Um, and once you're done, once you're ready for the first spin, it will be dry enough to stick the canvas to the slippery spinner. So I push the paint back to contain my composition and not have it float away before I'm done. Or at least before I know what I want to do with it. I will switch up order. So I put gold cell, activa cell activator on first, then the white. And now we'll do just boom gel. Don't ask me why. Okay. So now I think I would like to have this negative space. I really like this guy. So I will do something maybe here. Not unpretty. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really liking. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this corner here, but also I don't like just this ribbon going off. I don't know if messing with both of them would be good. Oh well. Just do something. Gold again. No white. But boom gel. Salon. 
on that guy. Okay, what did I say? <laughs> I'll go in here. Oh. Okay, what do I do? How much pain do we have? Yeah, maybe two more good spins. Because <laughs> I kind of want to add something. Do I just want to move it? I want to keep this. I don't know about those two guys. Okay. Let's see. Let's put my little base theory to test. So I will lift up the two arms of the spinner. Okay. So if I push it, it does move, so don't go crazy. Looks like a crane. I don't know if that's a great idea, but I wanna. I wanna swipe a little more. So in here. I don't know if it's a great idea. Let's see. 
if it is a great idea or not. Okay, nothing clean, of course. Where's my palette knife? Guys, where is it there? I'll go no white. I don't know why I don't like the white. Go to cell activator. Boom gel. Ooh. Okay. Something like that. better. Not too much off though. It does look like a crane. Is that the right word? It's a cani, you know, the birds. Japanese. And it's actually the time of the year when in Germany you hear them all the time. Because they're on the way back to warm countries. Um. It moved a little bit. So I guess this is the biggest size you can do on the spinner. In theory, you could, so this is, I said 60 by 20. So in theory, it could be longer than 20 and it would still hold it. I would I would use a bigger spinner for that though. Ah, I can lift the spinner. I forgot. I forgot. 
So I secure the canvas with my fingers too. I don't just hold the spinner. That's too dangerous. Don't do that. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe shift back. And you really don't need to spin fast. I mean, I never spin very really fast unless I really, really, really want to get the paint off. But the bigger a canvas is, the less force you need. Hmm. Good movement in there. I don't want to lose the crane. Make. Uh, that moved again. Because I can't stop fiddling with it, can I? That's it. Or is it? <laughs> Do I have to spin one more time? That looks very... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like almost an eighth. You know, I'm afraid to spin fast though. Oh no, it was sticking. Okay, I'll just do it. Yeah, they still come stuff off. Okay, let's spin a little more. Yeah, I'm losing my dot.
yeah, that stuff needs to go off. And it's not only because of cracking when it dries, it's also the, the shapes of the cells get wonky. I'm not a fan of that. If I intend to, yes, but in general, I want it to dry the way I see it. still wants to move. I'm a chicken, that's why. <sighs> okay, I messed that up. Okay, that's it. you down do I yeah here we are so see those really dark ones there that's what boom gel does. Bubbly, weird, awesome cells. There's my crane neck. <laughs> the beak is more like a flamingo. <laughs> a bent flamingo <laughs> beak. Blah, blah, blah. Mm hmm love that. Spoopy. Yo, okay. Mm, that's it. 
Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.